In the concrete jungles of 1970s New York City, a new art form was born, hip hop. From the boomboxes blasting funk and soul to the graffiti murals decorating brick walls, a cultural revolution was brewing. At the heart of this movement were DJs and MCs who transformed street corner gatherings into vibrant block parties. It was here in the parks and playgrounds of the South Bronx that the seeds of rap battles were sown. Early rap battles were less about personal attacks and more about bragging rights. They were contests of skill and wit, a way for MCs to showcase their lyrical prowess and earn the respect of their peers. These battles were often spontaneous, fueled by the energy of the crowd and the competitive spirit of the participants. The rules were simple, grab the mic, spit your rhymes, and let the crowd decide the winner. These early battles were a melting pot of styles and influences. DJs like Cool Herc and Grandmaster Flash provided the sonic backdrop, while MCs like Busy B. Starsky and Melly Mel captivated audiences with their verbal dexterity. These pioneers laid the foundation for a new form of musical expression, one that was raw, energetic, and deeply connected to the streets. As hip-hop matured in the 1980s, rap battles evolved from friendly competitions to heated rivalries. One of the first high-profile feuds was the Bridge Wars, a clash between KRS-One of Boogie Down Productions and MC Shan of the Juice Crew. This battle was more than just a war of words. It was a clash of burrows, a battle for the soul of New York hip-hop. The conflict ignited when MC Shan released The Bridge, a track claiming Queensbridge, Queens, as the birthplace of hip-hop. KRS-One, hailing from the Bronx, took offense to this claim. In response, he unleashed South Bronx, a scathing diss track that asserted the Bronx's dominance in hip-hop history. This back and forth escalated into a full-blown war, with both sides releasing diss tracks and mobilizing their respective crews. The Bridge Wars captivated the hip-hop community, drawing attention to the regional differences within the genre. It also highlighted the growing influence of rap battles in shaping the narrative and direction of hip-hop. The feud ultimately cooled down, but it left a lasting impact, solidifying the Bronx's claim as the birthplace of hip-hop and establishing KRS-One as a fierce and articulate voice in the genre. The 1990s witnessed the most explosive and tragic rap feud in history, the East Coast versus West Coast rivalry. This feud transcended music, becoming a cultural phenomenon that captivated the nation and ultimately led to the deaths of two iconic figures, Tupac Shakur and the Notorious Big. At the heart of this rivalry were two towering figures, Tupac, representing the West Coast, and Biggie, representing the East Coast. The origins of the feud are complex and multifaceted, involving personal disputes, regional tensions, and media hype. The conflict escalated from verbal jabs to physical altercations, with both sides releasing diss tracks and engaging in public feuds. The media played a significant role in fanning the flames, sensationalizing the conflict and fueling the paranoia. The East Coast versus West Coast feud had a profound impact on hip hop, shaping its image and influencing its direction. It exposed the darker side of the genre, highlighting the dangers of gang culture and the destructive power of violence. The deaths of Tupac and Biggie served as a tragic reminder of the real-life consequences of unchecked rivalry, casting a long shadow over the hip-hop community. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, a new wave of rap battles emerged, characterized by lyrical sophistication and strategic maneuvering. One of the most compelling feuds of this era was the battle between Jay-Z and Nas, two of the most celebrated MCs of their generation. This rivalry was a clash of titans, a battle for the throne of New York hip-hop. The feud between Jay-Z and Nas began with subtle disses and subliminal shots, escalating into a full-blown lyrical war with the release of Takeover by Jay-Z and Ether by Nas. These tracks are considered classics of the diss genre, showcasing the lyrical prowess and strategic brilliance of both artists. Jay-Z's takeover was a calculated attack on Nas's credibility, while Nas's ether was a brutal and personal takedown of Jay-Z's character. The Jay-Z vs. Nas feud captivated the hip-hop community, pushing the boundaries of lyrical warfare and raising the bar for diss tracks. It was a battle of wit and strategy, with each artist employing intricate wordplay and clever metaphors to dismantle their opponent. This feud showcased the intellectual depth of rap battles demonstrating how they could be used as a platform for lyrical innovation and artistic expression. 